We've had our news crews all over the state today. News ace Jackie Slater continues our team coverage tonight. She is in Wallingford with how folks are dealing with the cleanup there. Jackie. Darren, and you can see this tree here has seen better days. All the snow, sleet, and rain here in Wallingford making for what seems to be kind of a big pile of ice. It's definitely going to take a long time to clear that up. Earlier tonight, we went downtown Wallingford to see if any folks out there were getting a jump start on their cleanups. A look down North Main Street in Wallingford, and it's like flashing back in time. No cars, and the two people we did find digging out, choosing to do it old school. Uh, I probably had this about 30 years, so it's amazing it still runs, but it does. So. Rick Harrington's electric shovel is being put to good use. This is his second time out here today. Yeah, I came out earlier, probably about 1 o'clock, and uh, cleared it off once, and then uh, went back inside and watched Game of Thrones. Across the street, Hank Schnackenberg. He's got a system going. You just one shovel at a time, and all of a sudden you're at the end. That's all. Leaving the mess until tomorrow is not an option. I don't have a, a snowblower, and uh, the, nothing's plowed yet, and I have to go to work tomorrow, so it doesn't leave much choice. You know, you do what you got to do. All along the street, businesses closed. The only one open, Archie Moore's, where we found a few brave souls and some comfort food. We live right down the road from here, so we uh, came out and uh, wanted to explore for a little bit. We got tired of sitting home. I think it started really strong, and then I just, I don't think it was that harsh towards the end. We looked out the window, we're like, let's go explore. Back up the street, I decided to give Rick a break, doing my part to help clean up the mess. So what do you think of the power shovel? I think I need to go on eBay and get me one of these. Awesome. <laughs> And we continue to see DOT trucks out here along Route 68 in Wallingford. I can tell you also when I stepped out of the live truck, it's a, sh a solid sheet of ice here. So if you do have to head out, make sure you use caution. Also, Wallingford wanting to remind everybody that there is a parking van in place here in town, most likely through tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live in Wallingford, Jackie Slater, News 8.